Hello and welcome. Welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you've been with me for a while. I really do appreciate you all. If you guys are wondering about my shirt today, it is a Goonies shirt. Uh, so today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm doing a tag, a get to know me tag. This is not the normal format that I like to do tags in, so it's a little weird for me, but I am trying to get them done. So hopefully I can get everything done in this month, uh, lagging behind. I usually like to do tags in lives, but uh, that's just not really feasible for me this month. Uh, so I am going to do this tag. Uh, it is a get to know me tag. Elena Jenkins uh, is the one that I am getting this tag from and her channel will be linked down below if you are interested. Uh, just real quick, there is a giveaway going on and uh, there's eight winners. There's <sighs> Jeffree Star palettes. There's a Jawbreaker palette, Blue Blood palette, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there is also other information down below if you are interested. So let's start with question number one. Where are you from? Okay, so this is a difficult question to ask because when I think of where are you from, I kind of want to think or I want to say where my home is. Uh, but the truth is uh, I was scattered as a kid. Uh, my parents divorced when I was five. My father moved to Texas with his family. My mother moved to Ohio with her family. So I was born in Alaska and I was raised most of my childhood in Texas and I have lived most of my adult life in Ohio. but we plan on retiring in Vegas. So I would call my home Texas. I have never, even though I have built a life in Ohio, I've never really considered Ohio my home. So um, I don't know, I've lived in quite a few places around Ohio and I've just, I don't know, I've just never really considered it my home. and. Texas is where my home is, is where my heart is. Although I will never go back there. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll go back to visit, but I, I won't go back there to live. Uh, I really like the weather in Vegas, so we plan on retiring to Vegas. I do feel like Vegas is my second home. Uh, I feel most at home when I'm in Vegas, aside from Texas. So that's kind of where I'm from. <laughs> Question number two where did you meet your husband? So I met my husband in a bar. Uh, the bar was called Mean Mr. Mustards. It was a Gothic industrial bar. I say was because it is no longer standing. It was a Gothic industrial bar on campus. I was pretty much getting over leaving my first husband. Like I was living my life. I was doing things that I wanted to do. And I walked into this bar for the first time, saw my husband and there was just an instant chemistry. It was insane. <sighs> oh, the good old days. Anyway, that's where I met my husband. <laughs> um, number three, how many children do you have? I have three children. My oldest is from my first marriage, and then uh, my middle and my youngest are with my now husband. Four, are you an empty nester? Nope, not yet, almost. Uh, Vladimir will be 18 this upcoming October, and uh, so as soon as he graduates high school, he does plan on moving out, going to college, uh, so that's kind of where we are. So we do plan on being empty nesters here fairly soon. Number five, what are your hobbies? This is a harder question to answer. At first, YouTube was a hobby. It was a hobby that turned into a passion that turned into what it is today. But uh, let's see. I would say that YouTube was my hobby in the beginning. 
Uh, I still feel like it's a hobby, but it's a hobby that I'm really passionate about and I am super happy to take it places. So that is a hobby. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of my hobbies I've turned into passions. Uh, so, okay, so here's something that was a huge passion of mine, but has reverted back to a hobby, and that is pole fitness. Uh, I ran a pole fitness business. It's something that I had always wanted to do, and then I had to have both of my hips replaced. Uh, just here recently, back, uh, gosh, two, two years ago, and then two and a half years ago. So like, I had my hips done four months apart. And uh, so I was basically bedridden for almost an entire year, which is kind of sad to think about. But so in turn, I had to give up my pole fitness business, uh, but it was something I really loved. I really loved teaching it. I really loved doing it. And now that has reverted back to just a hobby because I cannot do the things that I used to be able to do as far as the pole is concerned. Um, so now it's just a hobby. I miss it. I miss it a lot. I, I'm not able to execute it like I should or like I could or like I wish that I could or like I used to. So uh, I, I kind of miss it. Now for a little break in this video. It is time for the mega loyal subscriber giveaway. And now, as you know, I'm not going to post anything about this on my thumbnail, in my description, in my title, nothing, because this is for the people that watch my videos in full all the way and actually enjoy <laughs> hanging out with me. So I have decided that, now I'm showing you this one because I have to dig the other one out. But we recently got uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild uh, highlighter palette in Allure. And so I'm going to take the Allure box and I'm going to stack it with goodies. And this is going to be the main item in it. I will show you mine. Mine is loved. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm super close to hitting pan on this one and on maybe this one towards this corner here. <laughs> um, but this palette is super, super loved. I love this palette for clubbing, but this blue ice here, you can put it on really, really delicately and it just, it looks like a really nice highlighter. So you're getting a brand new one. <laughs> this is mine. I just pulled this out because it was easier to get to. But, uh, you know, make sure you're subscribed. Of course you are if you're a mega loyal subscriber. Please like this video and uh, somewhere in your comment, of course, don't make it obvious to other people that there is a giveaway going on, but somewhere in your comment, please, uh, please put in your comment somewhere the words winter, the words travel, and the words love. And that's all you have to do, just make a comment put those three words in there and uh, I will draw, let's see, this is, I don't even know what date this is, I need to look. Okay, hold on. I will let this giveaway run until Sunday, like next Sunday, and I will draw a winner on Sunday and then that following week I can just, whoever wins, I'll pick the winner and whoever wins, get it, anyway. That's all you have to do for this loyal subscriber giveaway, uh, mega loyal subscriber giveaway, good luck. Number six, what do you love more, makeup or clothing? Mm, shoes. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm a makeup collector, I love collecting makeup, but the thing that gets me like all googly eyed and like ooh and drooly are shoes, stiletto shoes. <laughs> Hence part of my name. Number seven, am I an introvert or an extrovert? I am a little bit of both. Uh, one thing I am that affects that is I'm an empath. So 
what that means if you are not aware is um, I have to take great lengths to block other people's energy from seeping in to my body. Uh, I am a pretty strong empath, which can suck because I can go out into the world and just walk down a grocery aisle and if there are 10 people in that aisle and they are confused and discombobulated or angry about like that seeps in to my being and uh, sometimes it's hard to dispel so I um I am an introvert but I am also an extrovert I like to go out and see my friends and I like to hang out with my friends and catch up with my friends but my body and my mind have limited spoons to exert. Uh, if you are unsure of a spoon's reference, uh, I will link something down below, uh, like a web page to explain what spoons are, but it's, it's basically a way to uh, describe that you're expelling energy that you don't necessarily have to expel. So, uh, let's see. So I am an extrovert. I do love to go out once in a while and party and have a good time with my friends, but, <laughs> but it takes me a while to recuperate from something like that. So I, I could pretty much spend all winter inside of my home and not go out and mingle with people. Um, but I there I do like to go out and mingle, so I'm a little bit of both. Now in my 20s I was a huge extrovert, and but I didn't understand like why I was feeling attacked all the time emotionally. And once I did a little digging and I actually had a doctor talk to me about it, it made sense that I was an empath. So uh, let's see. Number eight, what have been your past jobs? Okay, so this is a little crazy and probably not the norm. Uh, I had had pretty much some sort of a job since I was eight years old, um, whether that was mowing lawns, um, babysitting, doing a lemonade stand, Things like that, um, I pretty much did from the time that I was eight until I was 13. When I was 14, I was able to get a work permit uh, back in the day. That was when you were able to, at 14, I was able to get a work permit and I was allowed to work part-time. So I worked for a couple of different restaurants. The main one that sticks out in my mind is Frisch's Big Boy. That was my very first real job when I was 14. Uh, let's see, I was out on my own at 15. When I was 16, I had a couple of different jobs working in restaurants, it just wasn't getting it done. Um, so when I was 17, I moved to Columbus and didn't quite go about things the right way, <laughs> but I worked in clubs for a good decade. Uh, from the time that I was 17 to 26, 27, I worked in clubs. And that is how I made a lot of money. Uh, I re retired. I stopped working after Vlad was born, which was about 18 years ago. And uh, I say retired because I haven't really returned to work since. I haven't had to, but uh, I have since then. I've owned my own pole fitness business and then now I do this. <laughs> so there is kind of a list. Let's see. Almost done. Number nine, what is your favorite show and movie? So just to get it out there and just because 
I'm always gonna name it number one, even though I'm not happy with the direction it's going right now. <laughs> Walking Dead is my favorite show. And uh, one of my favorite all time movies, like of all, 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 all time is probably True Romance. And then the last, uh, number 10, it says something new. So is something new going on? So I've made a couple of resolutions for 2020, or I should say goals. I don't really do the resolutions because I do just kind of make goals as life goes on. But I do tend to sit down in January and take uh, an inventory of my life, if you will. And so in January, I will sit down and make some goals. Um, if you remember, I mentioned my hip replacements and being bedridden for a year. Uh, I have only been active for a little over a year now to where I was able to like start exercising. When I was bedridden, I put on about 30 pounds and I am uncomfortable in my own skin as of right now. So one of my main goals is to get my hips working again. Uh, it's still painful, it's still, but it's better than it was. So my goal is to get back in the gym and get some of this weight off. I definitely want to achieve that before our wedding vow renewal in 2021. Uh, I at least want to get some abs back because right now my abs are gone. Uh, let's see. Another goal uh, for my channel here is to just keep growing. I, w I want to, I would like to make sure that I'm growing at a regular pace, uh, uh, making sure I'm hitting little milestones along the way. Um, but that's really, I mean, nothing super, super new. Uh, and I have been doing this for way too long, so I will let you guys go. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.